Let's take out our notebooks and take some notes about gravitational potential energy, particularly calculating gravitational potential energy. Up to this point, we've talked about gravitational potential energy, and we realized that the higher something is above the ground, the more gravitational potential energy that object has. Um, but today we're going to actually look at calculating that. So let's make sure that we title our, our, our notes and um, start to write down a formula. So we have a formula which is GPE is equal to mass times the gravitational constant and h. So that's GPE is equal to MGH. Now what does that MGH stand for? Well, the G stands for, again, the acceleration due to gravity. That's something that when we're on Earth that we have. And when you were looking at the skateboard simulation, you also saw that you could, on that simulation, change the gravitation due to um, you know, the Earth, but then again, um, that was on a simulation. We can't do that, unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately. So um, we have G, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared. Just, just take my word on it. It's a little bit strange. We've got this meters per second squared um, for our units. For the H, we have a height, and of course our units are going to be um, meters in that case. So let's look at an example. We have a basketball. It has a mass of 0.6 kilograms, and it's dropped from 10 meters in height. What we want to do is find the GPE at 10 meters, 5 meters, and 0 meters. So t let's take a look at how to do that. First of all, we have our, um, our height is equal to 10 meters. At the same time, we also know that G is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. And we have a mass of 0.6 kilograms. So we want to find out what the gravitational potential energy is. So those are our knowns, and our unknown is GPA. So we're going to write the formula down, GP equals MGH. Let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. So M, for M we have 0.6 kilograms. For G, we have 9.8 meters per second squared. And for height, we have 10 meters. So we're going to go ahead and uh, punch that into our calculator. So take a look here. We've got 9.8 times 10 times 0.6. Our answer there is 58.8. So we have 58.8. And what this is going to be end up being is a different kind of unit called a joule. So a joule is an energy unit. And we're just going to leave it at that for the moment. So that our GPE is uh, 58.8 joules when we're at 10 meters. Now, what's going to happen when we get to when our when our basketball drops to five meters? So let's take a look at this and make sure we have room to see what's going on here. So instead, now our height is five meters. We have still our G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, the acceleration due to gravity. We have M is 0.6 kilograms. And then our GPE, we have M, which is 0.6 kilograms, times G, 9.8 meters per second squared. And then five meters. Have a little more room there. So as you write that down, I'm going to go ahead and calculate this. My guess is going to be half of what we looked at before. So I'm guess going to guess that it will be about oh 29, 29.4. Let's take a look. So 9.8 times five times 0.6. 29.4, what do you know? 
joules is the GPE halfway. Then we take a look at the height is zero meters. But you guys can guess what the, the, the energy is going to be at zero meters, but let's calculate it as well. Um, we have the same G is 9.8 meters per second squared, and the same mass is 0.6 kilograms. And then our GPE calculating that out is our 0.6 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. And then we've got a doozy, we've got zero meters. So I don't think any of us need a calculator for that. We're looking at the zero meters, multiplying anything by zero, we end up with zero, except this is going to be zero joules. And that is the answer for our GPE. If we wanted to draw a picture of this, wanted to draw a picture of this, here's what it would look like. We want to take a look down here and see that we've got the ground. We've got, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our basketball is up here at 10 meters and the GPE is 58.8 joules. Then we go halfway down and we have GPE is equal to 29.4 joules. And then of course, our basketball at the very bottom, our GPE is equal to zero joules or J. Thanks for watching.